Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. And shout out to Mousetrap PUA. We love you. He has put up a special request for, from us. Uh, and it's a topic that is near and dear to our hearts. We're going to talk about gym game. <laughs> and as gym owners and personal trainers, our blanket statement has always been, just don't do it. Don't do it! But there is a way you can do it. Yeah. And you can be very successful. We know people that have met at the gym. Got met, we know we have clients that have met and yeah. dated. So it can be done. The key here is, unlike, you know, like picking up a rando off the street or, you know, at a bar or club, mm -hmm. you're going to see the same people mm -hmm. at the same time, mm -hmm. generally on the same days. Exactly. So there's familiarity. But we are going to give one word of caution. And that is? You have to play the long game. It's not, it is not a one and done, what, you know, you meet her one day or you see her across a crowded gym and you take her home that night. It just generally does not work that way. So you have to be a long game player and be okay with that. We're talking months. <laughs> because if you do it wrong, girls will change their schedule. Oh, yes. If you give her a creep vibe, or like, God, I can't work out with this guy at the gym again. He always comes change. up to me. He always... Uh, they, they will. You got to be cool and you got to play the long game. Yeah. And let's talk about how that long game is played. Okay. So from a female perspective, um, girls will claim at least that they are going into the gym to work out. You know, not to get picked up on. All this... We literally walk into the gym with our radars up and our claws out to not be fucked with, even if we would love to be hit on by handsome, handsome muscular men. Um, but the, so the first step is just to establish familiarity. And we're talking like a month or two, just seeing one another at the same times, on the same days, just being in the same space, not speaking to her, not talking to her. Now, if she approaches, great. You know, if she asks you for a wait, if if she asks you if you're finished with a set, whatnot, <clears throat> then that's different. She, then you can talk to her. But still, just answer the questions and don't try and continue the conversation. Don't try to elongate it. After familiarity has actually been established and you're used to seeing one another, and it almost, you can kind of make a joke out of if you walk in at the same time or whatnot, Make a joke out of, you know, seeing one another and being on the same schedule. That's great. Something easy, not establishing conversation. So about a month or two in, you can approach and say, hey, are you, are, you know, can, are you finished with your set? Or how many more sets do you have? Or can I work in with you? Something along those lines. But then you actually have to do it. When she finishes with the machine or the piece of equipment that, that you've asked her about, you can't not follow up by actually using that piece of equipment. So use this one with caution. Yeah, it can't be contrived. Yeah. yeah because you actually have to do it. She'll pick that one up real <laughs> quick. <laughs> but then, most likely, that familiarity just from that kind of interaction... You broke the ice. Will break the ice. Yeah, absolutely. And then she may ask you the same thing in another week or so. It, if there's any kind of spark there, it will it it will encourage her to reach out as well. She will time. be in your proximity. Yeah. She will put herself near or close physically so you can speak with her. Yes. I mean there there will be she'll. Take it active, an active measure. Yes. And then you can start working from that angle. Absolutely. But that still does not give you um, cause to start trapping her in conversations every time you see her. It's got to be natural. It has to be natural. Just because she puts her, you, herself in your proximity still doesn't, unfortunately, mean that that she wants you to talk to her all the time. Right. Unfortunately, because in the gym, you may have even kind of synced up what you train what days so that you're closer to her 
or or more available to her or whatnot. And I think that that's where it gets a little tricky because you think she's in your proximity when really you've put yourself in her proximity. Yeah. And uh, she still doesn't want you to talk to her all the time. She will catch your eye. She will be in your proximity. She will uh, make little jokes or Speak. kind of give nods of of invitation to have opportunity to talk but resist the this is where game really comes into play i think is a few months in because you need to be very controlled in how much that you say when you say it just like with text game it needs to be pretty quick and it needs to not be a constant back and forth you may speak to her one time out of every you know three four ten times you see her because it needs to be you need to give her a little bit of room to desire you wouldn't you say yeah build it up and then then you can go forward with that yeah you know and then over time and again it's over time it is you it's can expand a very the conversation long game. yeah but it will become natural yeah you know and again you know you're dating other girls and it's and you you know hell you might even bring a girl with you yeah. You know, one day to work out. Yeah. I mean, she'll go, is that your girlfriend? She you know will. I mean? The so, next time. Yeah. The next she time, will go, is that your girlfriend? She will. Yeah. The next time she sees you without the girl, yeah. she will. So, was that your girlfriend? Yeah. No, it was my sister. Yeah, exactly. But, but that is a good yeah. cue that she was interested. So, that's where the benefits. Of, but And then you run your normal game. Yeah. But it takes time. It does. You know, and you have to get some indicators of interest, you know. And when you're standing there, if you, you know, you're speaking to her, if she's twirling that hair. You know, turn her body towards you. And all the things that normally happen, it'll happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can tell the difference between, you know, a stu- just training and, inter- you know, inter- interaction and a girl that's interested in you. Yeah. And then you run your regular game. Absolutely. And I think in the only other format is, like, if you're in, like, a CrossFit or a group training oh, gym. Oh, huge. It, you yeah. can go a little bit faster with that stuff because... You have timed rest periods. Yeah. Where you're literally standing next to each other. And it is a socialized environment. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Group it's a training community. is completely different. Where you can say, especially if you've been there and you're a regular and you have somebody, you know, where were you training before? Yeah. You know, just regular conversations and you can learn a lot or you can meet girls and you're just meeting them. You're yeah. Just, you know, you know, how long have you been training here? Yeah. You know, they're like, how long have you been there? Five years. You know. Yeah. I think you'll like, you know, just so they can have a good time. You're kind of like an ambassador. Yeah. You know, and that works. It's true. Something, something more like that group training. Yeah. It's way easier. It is a easier. totally different vibe as far as pickup goes. People talk to each other and it's not unusual. Yeah. But most of you guys that I think, listen, are going to be training like at a Globo gym or. Yeah. Or 24 a body hour fitness, build. Yeah. That kind of Which thing. Which is where it's the hardest. Yeah. The hardest is. is. That's why you have to run. The long game. But the long game works just as well. And it does. And here's the caveat. If when you do speak to her and the conversation does pick up, remember, you don't have to be um, locked into a certain formula. We we recommend to bail earlier than later. Yeah. But if it starts moving forward, don't just pull out because that's the script. You know, you can take it as far as you feel comfortable with. Just know that if you blo- get blown out, yeah. She says, ah, my husband's picking me up in 10 minutes. You know, or, you know, uh-huh. you may never see her again, and that's okay. Yeah. You know, and you just kind of like. That's a good point. It's, it's a lesson learned. Yeah. But generally, you know, if she's seen you that long, you know, a couple of months and over time, these things did, do tend to work out. At least you have one thing in common. Yeah, And exactly. fitness tends to carry a lot of things in common yeah. over time. I love so it. we wish you guys, especially Mousetrap, run that <laughs> game, man. <laughs> we love you. <laughs>